All right, what is going on guys? So it's been a little bit since I recorded a video on Skyblock and you know, I spent an entire stream getting every single one of the bows in the game, every single bow in the game. Yeah, I spent an entire stream doing that. I got every single bow. So really quickly before we get into the video, I just wanted to ask you guys if you leave a like and subscribe because this kind of content does take a lot of effort and it does really help me out if you like the video and subscribe comment something down below i don't really care literally just comment poop it just helps me out yes yeah, so let's just get into the video guys i hope you guys enjoy the tier list i'm trying to rank it all objectively based on like price damage and where you're supposed to use it in the game so if you disagree definitely uh let me know in the comments but yeah guys let's just get into the video so let's just get this out of the way the decent bow uh definitely not good definitely uh down there in that uh, that that range because um, it's like a bow but with 15 extra damage so we're gonna put that right there at definitely not good and then we have the normal bow which is absolutely dog shit sell the npc first two bows down baby we have the savannah bow it has damage plus 50 and all damage dealt with the bow is doubled so every time you hit an enemy with the bow it does double what damage it would normally do with a plus 50 power bow so I've definitely seen a lot of people try and use this bow and, and say it's good, but it's really not good. It's really cheap, and I mean, if it's an early game player, then yeah, it's a decent bow. So we're just going to put it at decent because it's really cheap. You can do somewhat good damage with it. I mean, it's functional. With this next bow, it is the Prismarine bow. Damage plus 50, strength plus 25. Only requires 16, three sets of 16 Prismarine shards to actually use, and... It does 300% damage to Squids, Guardians, and Elder Guardians. Um, it's the only bow in the game that can shoot sea creatures, so I guess I guess we'll just put it in um, kind of not good because it's it's pretty impractical. There's no reason you should be having to bow sea creatures, and if you do, just uh, uninstall. Okay, next bow. We have the Ender Bow. <laughs> it's got damage plus 60 and item ability is ender warp shoots an ender pearl upon landing you deal damage to all monsters in an eight block radius for 10 percent of their health this bow is pretty much useless um the savannah bow out damages it the item ability costs 50 mana and has a 45 second cooldown this is this is uh this is absolutely dog shit sell the npc don't get this bow it's not good it's really really not good you don't need it please Please don't get it. Alright, the Wither Bow, it has damage, plus 30. Deals 100% damage to Withers and Wither Shelton's. Pretty much useless. You don't need it. It's it's really bad. Unless you're, like, <laughs> killing Wither Skeletons in the Nether or something. I don't, I don't know. But you can buy it from the NPC if you want it. You can. It's something you can do. Don't do it, though, please. <laughs> so, we're just gonna put it in, uh... What do we think? I think, uh... Definitely not good. Definitely, it's gonna it's gonna go in definitely not good, guys. That's where it's gonna go. Actually, I changed my mind. It's it's gonna go in absolutely dog shit. Sell to NPC because it's bad. It's really bad. Next, I wanted to do the basic bows that you get from dungeons. So the ones that you get from drops. I'm not 100% positive if I actually got all of them. So if I did miss one, please tell me. First up, we have the undead bow. It's you buy it from the dungeons NPC. So three of these you get from the dungeons NPC. Three of them you get from drops in dungeons so the undead bow is it's useful as a bow in dungeons if you're an archer and you're just starting off so i'm gonna say it's decent because it it really does help you out um it really does help you out if you're just starting off dungeons and you're an archer so yeah it's decent and the next bow is the super undead bow which is basically the undead bow on crack and it has the ability where your arrows have a 25% chance to bounce to other targets after it hits something. So it's good. It's a good bow. It's really good inside of dungeons. You can use it inside of dungeons probably all the way up until floor 5 for a really long time. And it's only 800k. You only need catacombs 16 to use it, I believe. So yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty useful bow. Alright, so the death bow. This thing is actually insane it has a 50 percent chance to bounce to another target after it hits something so it's basically the super undead bow on crack so we're gonna put it right in front of the super undead bow the death bow is really really good and it <laughs> it even 
Oh my gosh. It been there's not much else to it you get higher chance to hit other targets and you get 80 extra damage what is there not to like like i said these next three bows are the bows that you can get from drops in dungeons if i miss one please let me know but we have the rapid machine gun bow which inside of dungeons as an archer or even a berserker to just pop the left click ability is good it's it's a good bow in my opinion it, it has good stats if you get an epic one five star it you can just use it as a uh, ability for a little bit of extra damage so then we have the rich soul stealer bow which is it's a it's not that really useful as a bow but it outside of dungeons if you put rich on it it gives you a lot of intelligence but honestly it's not that practical inside of dungeons and it's really easy to get though so we're gonna give it a, a decent ranking the sniper bow oh there's 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 nothing to say about this thing it's just it's it's bad it's dog shit salvage it it's just free undead essence that's literally all it is so now we're gonna get into more of the commonly used bows the most common bows just like the the meat of the bows in skyblock so we have the endstone bow which at first sight doesn't seem to be that good but it's item ability i know a lot of people have used that to get not a lot of damage but like it's it's decent just put it in decent actually no we'll put it in kind of not good so then we have the scorpion bow which a lot of people don't like this bow simply because it's a little bit outclassed by other bows but i feel like it can do a lot a, a lot more damage than people actually think you can with this so i personally used to use it for slayers all the time and its item ability is pretty pretty good if you don't have that much damage so it's, it's only about 2.5 mil, it's pretty cheap nowadays, so I'm gonna put it in good, and that's definitely some personal bias there, but you're gonna have to deal with it. I'm sorry. Now we have the Magma Bow. This bow is incredible. This is the probably best bow for its price, literally under 1 mil. You can craft it really cheap, and you can put precise on it, just like every other bow, but it's really freaking good. It's a uh, very doggy, very doggy, very dog, very poggy woggy doggy champ, according to me who built that sign. <laughs> All right, so next up we have the bow that everybody hates, and personally I hate it too. So bang, dog shit, sell to NPC. Nobody likes that bow. Next up we have the slime bow. Also not very good uh it actually has a decent amount of damage and crit damage though so we'll put it in definitely not good couldn't use it at all i almost put it in kind of not good you know i'll put it in kind of not good simply because of how much damage and crit damage it gives you but you know it eh, 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 not that good next we have the hurricane bow the bow that you're gonna want to get right before you get yourself a magma bow i don't even know if you want to get this before a magma bow but i do know that it's really good in dungeons for abusing mana so you can get yourself a lot of mana for that. I don't know if people still do it, but yeah, you just basically would just spam right click with it and you would get a ton of mana because you would hit it five arrows on the enemy at once. So it was really good. But going into the next bow, we have the Rapid Runin's bow. The Rapid Runin's bow, or whatever reforge you put on it, is the cream of the crop bow in Hypixel Skyblock. The magnum opus of bows in high pixel skyblock it is insanely good also very poggy woggy dog champ very cheap very good for damage the bow that everybody uses on dragons the most popular bow for end game mid game and late game players all right so finally i have the bows that you get from drops in dungeons or craft from dungeons they are the best bows in the game basically these are these four best bows in the game this Mosquito bow, you actually craft from Slayers, not Dungeons. Kind of mess that one up a little bit. But we're going to start off with a Spirit bow. Damage plus 210. It's about 1.5 mil clean is how much it costed me. You can use it as a ghost. And the Spirit bomb ability, obviously, which not that good. But as a base bow itself, it does a lot of damage in Dungeons. It's, um, it's good. It's good. Good bow. So moving on, we have the Last Breath with... 210 damage, 235 strength, 13 crit chance, 50% crit damage, and it reduces the defense of your target by 50 on hit, stacks up to two times. So you can reduce your opponent's defense by up to 100, which makes a lot of things easier. So you can basically just do a ton more damage if you put a few shots into enemies with this. So very poggy woggy dog champ, you can also upgrade it. And 
You can also use the recon on it so you can get it up to Mythic. It's a really freaking good bow. Definitely recommend getting that. Moving on to the Bone Meringue. This thing is the best item for damage in the game other than Hyperion and Valkyrie. This thing is insane. You get four of these things, you throw them all at once, you can just infinitely hit things with it. It's incredible. Everybody knows that. So we're just gonna put it right here. And the last bow, the previous most expensive bow in the game, best bow in the game previously, is the Precise Mosquito Bow. It has 271 damage, 146 strength, 13% crit chance, and 59% crit damage. And it's going to cost you around 9 to 9.5 mil for a clean one or an enchanted one, which would be 9.5 mil. So it's, it's a really, really freaking good bow. But I don't know if I want to put it all the way up here in S or <laughs> Hoggy Woggy Dog Champ because... It's, it's kind of outclassed now by all these other bows, by the Last Breath, the Magma, and the Endstone bow. So we're going to put it in good or A tier because, let's be honest, it is definitely outclassed now. Although it is really good outside of dungeons, there are better choices and you can do more damage with other bows. So that's it guys. If you disagree with me on any of these, let me know. If you disagree with me on the explosive bow, please just click off the video right now, please, for the love of God. I don't even want you here. Get out of here, you absolute buffoon, clownery. Get out of here. You probably still think summoning eyes are good for money. <laughs> but um, anyways, guys, that is going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed, again, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Comment poop down below. Don't care what you comment. But uh, that's really it, guys. Peace.